Hey everybody, it's Aiden here once again and welcome to some Assetto Corsa as it's kind of a, a mod demonstration but at the same time I'm trying to answer a question. As we all know in 2018 F1 cars have got the halo. It's not been very well received but you know it, this is how it is and no amount of hashtags and whining and complaining will get rid of it anytime soon. But then someone asked a question on another channel, a good friend of mine, like, I say good friend of mine, um, he probably doesn't give two shits about me, but you know, we, we've interacted quite a lot over the over the last couple of years or so, Fryerman601, and that person asked, what will the Halo do at Monaco? So that's what I'm here to do. Uh, what is the Halo going to be like at Monaco? So I'm going to take the brand new Race Sim Studios uh, Formula 2018 car with the Halo, and I'm using my trusty track out to try and navigate my way around the streets of Monaco, and just see how it is, how, how scary will it be, and how hard can it be? So let's go to Monaco, and let's go and see how terrible I am at driving around the streets. So welcome to Monaco, and well, here's the Halo. I'm using track app, you know, which is like a head tracking uh, piece of apparatus. It's kind of like VR, but you haven't got a screen in your face. You use a webcam in it. I'll leave a link to the video I did on it, because we're here to see what it's like driving a haloed Formula 1 car, or Formula 1 style car around the streets of Monaco. So uh, we're going to be running on balance low. I've done a little bit of a setup. It's probably not perfect and this is my first attempt at, well, I say first attempt, you'll see in a minute that it's not actually my first attempt, but on, on camera anyway, of trying to drive a Formula 1 car in a set of Corsa around Monaco. Um, and it's also the first time driving a 2017 onwards car at Monaco. So I, I'm still not really sure on what I need to expect out of the car here. So. Without messing around too much, we've got 20 litres of fuel. I'm going to pluck first gear, give us a jandle, and away we go. So, let's make sure. Yeah, that's DRS. Okay. Um, this is not take one. <laughs> I'm going to admit that, that this is not take one. I'm also going to completely stick two fingers up to the pit lane rules. So, here we are. We're climbing up the hill. Up through the gears. I'm not even looking at how fast I'm going or what time I'm doing. Into Massonet, fifth gear. Drop it two gears for Casino Square. Round the bump in the road. Into Mirabeau. Short burst of power. Down into first gear. Not often you see that in a modern Formula One car. Round the Lowe's hairpin. Pluck second. Right the curb on the inside. Give it as close to the wall as you can. Portier. Again, take it to the outside and then boot it as we come into the tunnel. I'm going to brake nice and early because the brakes are not up to temperature. Into the harbour front chicane here. Up through the gears once more. Back down to fifth. To back. Foot down. A little bit of a lift. I'm just not brave enough. Lock up into the exit of the swimming pool section. Brakes still not quite where I want them. Into second gear for La Rascas, where Schumacher famously parked his car in 2006. We're going to pull DRS now. All right, now I'm going to try and commentate on a lap of Monaco. Down into third gear, Sandevo, click the curb on the inside, take it all the way out to the, the wall here. Now we're going to just power through the gears, up the hill, probably about 170 miles an hour, back into fifth for Massonet, and then down into Casino Square. We want to go round this bump in the road. There is a bump there, and that's why the cars are taking that weird line through uh, that part of the track into Mirabeau. Brakes are still not quite there, so we'll have to do another lap, I think, into the Lowe's hairpin. Almost hit the wall. And then in the lower Mirabeau, that's where Schumacher hit the wall in 96. Senna at Portier, 88. Walking home into the tunnel. Many, many accidents have occurred here. Just trying to find the breaking point into the chicane, changing direction so quickly. I'm actually grateful for the very light steering in this RSS Formula 2018 car. Through to back, probably a bit too liberal through there. Across the curves at the swimming pool. Second gear. Oh, it's the old swimming pool. They've uh, sort of opened the radius of that corner as I lock up again. Jesus Christ. Brakes nowhere near where I want them. Uh, get on the power as we come out. DRS now power through the gears about 270 kilometers an hour don't know what that is in in uh english money but oh i almost hit the wall coming out of sandavo again 
But that's the thing with Monaco, it's just... It's, it's threading the eye of a needle at 180 miles an hour. Into Casino. That's where Rosberg cheated his way to pole position that one year. Yeah, I went there. First gear, Lowe's. I think it's actually called the Hotel Hairpin now. My dad would call it the Station Hairpin. That's what it was called in the 60s. Yeah, he is that old. And, oh god, understeer, come on! Tunnel, once more. You're just trying to find a turning point that isn't smacking the car off that inside wall of the chicane. I wonder what the, the actual drivers are getting in terms of distance to that corner. I'm betting it's oh, a magazine, maybe even a Rizzler in between the the wheel wall and I uh, hit the wall the wheel wall and the the actual wall if you know what I'm talking about 119 I'm just I'm just nowhere near brave enough I'm not going for lap records here but Massonate oh, I love coming through here it's just Eye of the needle stuff, like I say, round the bump. Stop the car from bottoming out. Brakes are now. I wouldn't say they're optimal, but they're getting there. Oh, Jesus, I've turned too late, but so much lock. Short shift. Curbage. Get here, the car struggling for grip. Personally, I, I'm not a fan of Monaco. It, it was fun. The first two or three times I drove here, but now it's just... Ah, it's just lost its magic. Bathurst, on the other hand, love it. Oh, that was glorious through there. First gear, why not? Give me torque. Yes. So it takes about so it takes about two or three laps to get the brakes up to temperature, but we've actually demolished the front tyres there. Uh, that's the down side to track at. Bollocks. Uh, <laughs> got an itch on the back of my head. Which often happens. Sensitive skin and all that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do, because we're on like the super softs, I'll come in, put on some hyper softs, and see what I can do. I'll tell you, commentating around here is not easy. change your driving style as well it's just I don't normally wrestle with the steering wheel this much um, Ferrari Man 601 who I mentioned in the opening bit of this video he's one of these wheel wrestlers and I, I can't do it but here I feel that I have to just concentrating now Almost at full braking there. Barely using any of my ERS as well. Oh, I left it stupidly late, but... In doing so, gained half a second-ish. That's the only real straight on the course, that. Ah. 
Wall bank. Good thing I turned the damage off, isn't it? Awesome. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to... I'm going to try something. This is probably going to go horrifically wrong. But, uh, tyres. Hyper softs. Oh, yeah, boy. And we're going to... See, 10 litres of fuel goes a long way here. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to stick it on hot lap mode. Because I don't care. Um... Just gonna go around, get a get the brakes warmed up. I think that'll be the first thing on my uh, to do list. Right, we're just coming through to start a hot lap here. I think I've got everything set up just so. Oh god, I was just trying to get some heat into the brakes. So here we go then. Ultra soft tires, well hyper soft tires. And very little fuel, so. Concentration required to drive. Do one more lap. The tires might be dead. Damn it. Ah, oh, no. No, ties are dead. <laughs> oh, well. So, that is what it's like to drive a Halo at uh, at Monaco. Uh, this car is the RSS Formula Hybrid 2018. And it's actually really good. Um, great way to experience the Halo and, and all the 2018 rules. So, uh, I will leave a link to be able to get the car. I will leave a link to the track. I will leave all the relevant links below. And uh, if you have driven this car, let me know what you think. And uh, have you driven it around Monaco? Let me know. And uh, if there's anything in particular you want to see on this channel, then let me know in that respect as well. So until next time, I've been Adam Ward. Have a great day wherever you live in the world. And remember to like and subscribe. I don't know why YouTubers ask for likes. I mean, stroke my ego by giving me a like. Um, no, that doesn't sound right, does it? Oh, well. Anyway, remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all again on Friday for another video. So until then... Goodbye.